What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the New Balance M1500 Rose Edition, man, coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of an all suede upper. In some areas, you got like a little bit of like a mesh right here as well. But as far as the suede quality goes, it is definitely a top level suede. Usually when it comes to like a New Balance collab shoe, they don't really, you know, skimp on the materials because, you know, they make, they charge you a high price, but they give you high price materials. But as far as like the, the suede, it's definitely nice when you rub your hands across it, it changes colors and it's just nice to touch. You got the um, New Balance logo right here. And you got the 1500 right there, got New Balance. And you know, you got the white with the gray midsole. And you got the, like the two-tone pink upper. And on the back of the shoe, got the New Balance logo. And on the medial side of the shoe is exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. Just nice, simple, like aesthetic and colorway. And it really just pops off the foot. Not necessarily in a, you know, hey, look at me type way, but you know, it, it will make you give a, a double look in my opinion. But getting towards the lacing system of the shoe is just your standard lacing. You got like nice little light gray laces to go with it. And it got New Balance made in New England. So I'm guessing the 1500s is only made in New England. Or I'm guessing this particular like pair or model was made in New England. Um, and getting towards the insole of the shoe, the insole is all white and it has New Balance running, painted in black. As far as sizing goes with this shoe, I would suggest going true to size, even if you have a fat, a wide, a normal, or a narrow foot. These shoes retail at 150 euros and how I came across my pair was when I first saw pictures of this shoe, like I saw this on Sneaker News and I wanna say a couple other sites, like whoever did the Photoshop on that picture, it was crazy because like the pink was popping. I'll put a picture of it to the side of me. Like this pink is like a nice light pink, but in the photos, it like really popped on foot and I was really intrigued. And I was waiting, hopefully that, you know, they was, these was like come over to the States and release, but I never seen any US stores get them. Actually only one store I know had these shoes and it's called A Few. They're located, I wanna say somewhere either in Europe or Australia, one of the two. So they released on the website and you know, I wanted to get them first day, but I was like, you know what? Let me just wait, man. I'm gonna wait and get these shoes for the price that I want. So I waited and I waited and I waited. Now I wanna say I paid either 110 or 120 euros for this shoe. And I wanna say when you convert that over to like US with the shipping, it was probably like 150, 140 dollars. So I didn't pay too much for these shoes and getting them in hand, like these don't pop like the pictures do, but I do like the quality of the shoe in person. And also like, you know, it's a nice subtle pink. So I definitely rock with, I'll never like sell these shoes cause these shoes definitely go hard. And just the quality of the shoe made, I'm definitely glad that I got the purpose, but you know, I hate it sometimes when you go on websites and you see the shoe and it look a certain color. Then when you get it in, it's a whole different colorway. Um, another shoe that did me like that was the Reebok Question Mid, the Melody Shiny Edition. Like in pictures, it looked like a wheat shoe, but then when it came in, it looked like an entirely different color, but that's for another story. Anyways, definitely glad that I got these shoes. Now, without further ado, here's an on foot look of the New Balance M1500 Made in England Rose Edition. Defense, hit your pause button, heart your critiquing. Talk is cheap. The more I hear you talking, it cheapens. And all I see is prey round the streets today. I'm about to freak away from having Issa Ray eating out Lisa Ray. Any artist out that you see is great. Tell him I said, bring his ass. Better bring his A. Let his single play. We don't care what you sing. Hit you in your face with the butt of the gun. You leaking. Get your street credit a few streams. Pop go to weasel, nigga. Fever, nigga. I'm the illest. You got pop culture fever, nigga. All I know is big and pop quotes. Pop toast to squeeze the triggers. Season tickets. Now I pull the cops over. Get them niggas season tickets. Wifey used to shoot me down vicious. Now she the missus. She turned me to a family guy quicker than Peter Griffin. I told myself when I was 14 that she the one. Now a nigga probably got more seeds than Peter Guns. Now a nigga go out my groceries and two seaters. Used to roll the old school four speakers and two tweeters. Riding with nothing but raw quarter packs and duffels. Ryan Wright's heaters. Y'all niggas is cut like one of them get rich or die trying wife beaters. Me, I'm just all shoulder straps and muscle. If you're a hater, let's do it. I whoop you now, then I whoop on your boy later. Them whippings will go around like a tornado. I get rid of more yayo. I don't do rodeo or ales. I do the Floyd Mayo. So many men shopping in women's section, it ain't no ladies left. You niggas crazy? Yes. 
You playing crazy like the Chappelle sketch. Wayne Brady up. I'm what you get when Freeway Rick and Cocaine 80s met. I'm bringing bars back to the street like Jay and Nas beef. Broadcasting ether in HD at Godspeed. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite New Balance model, man. It could be the 998s, the 997s, the 999s, the 1500s like these. Whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. Takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.